Hello guys, welcome to Red Feather Falls. In this video, I will be going over a complete guide for this map, including weapons, gear to use, animal locations, and map recommendation setups for you. If this is something you would like to see other maps in the game, drop a like on the video and make sure you are following the channel when you want to see my next ultimate guide go live. Let's get started where we will be going over the animal locations and where you will most likely find them at. The Whitetail. While you'll find more females than males, the whitetail bucks are the real prize, as they serve two variants which can spawn, the typical and the non-typical. To know the difference, here's two pictures I'm showing you now, showcasing the typical on the left and the non-typical on the right. The spawn chance for a non-typical is 1 in 500 chance of spawning. The weight of tracks for a whitetail buck max out at 100 kg, while its counterpart is only around 75 kg. You can find whitetail deer in these areas predominantly. The lures that work for them are the grunt collars, both variants, the, the carved and the normal, and then you have the doe bleat, as well as the whitetail spray. While the collars reach out to 200 meters, the spray only goes about 150. Next animal, the moose. The big size of the moose makes it rather challenging to make a well-placed shot because of how big it is. I would recommend going for a broadside shot if possible as hard shots are pretty inconsistent. Beware though, if you get too close, you may provoke them into charging you. Also, the weight for a bull maxes around 620 kg while its counterpart is more around the 500 kg mark. You will find moose predominantly in these areas of the maps. The lures that also work for the moose are obviously the moose collar and the spray, the Roosevelt elk. The Roosevelt Elk can be predominantly found in these areas of the map of Red Feather Falls. They can travel in different groups ranging from all bulls, all cows, or a mixed group of both. Very unusual for you to find a single down Roosevelt Elk. The max weight for a bull is around 500 kg. The lures that work for the Roosevelt Elk are the collar and the spray, the blacktail. The blacktail deer can be found in these areas most likely, but they can also roam around the map in groups with the other animals. The max weight for a male is around 95 kg. The lures at work are the bleak collar, the grunt collars, and the spray. And these also share the same variants as the white-tailed deer by spawning two varieties, the non-typical and the typical, shown here. Lastly, the black bear. The males max around 280 kg. The only lure method for them is the bait barrels. They can also be provoked into charging you if you get too close, similar to the moose. They travel across the map in these areas most likely. You will only find singled out bears traveling alone. They will not travel in groups. Alrighty, now on to the weapon recommendations for this map. So I recommend you use the snakebite compound bow and the 300 bolt action, as with these you can harvest all the animals on the map with ease. Last and finally map recommendation setups. This one is complete opinion, but this is also my setup for the map, allowing me to target all the species here on the map. Notice how I have placed every tent around one kilometer away from each other because that saves camping supplies. One kilometer equals one camping supply. I will overlay my map setup with the animal map that I have provided to show you a better idea of why I've chosen this setup like I have. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know down below what you guys thought about the Red Feather Guide. If you guys wanted me to do something different or if I missed out on something, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions for the next guide. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the day. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as it's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you so choose. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.